Hey guys, Chuck Popovich here from Bricks to Clicks, and I am here today to show you this really cool feature that Balk is releasing in partnership with eBay. So this cool feature is going to be pretty sweet. I've never seen anything like it from any other company out there. If I'm wrong, drop me some comments. I'd love to check out that other company. Uh, but however, you'll be able to purchase your merchandise through eBay in association with Balk, and you can upload that manifest from Balk right to eBay. I'm going to show you some stuff on eBay. Let's see what type of merchandise they have available. Uh, so I do have the screen up to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see what's going on here. Uh, so we are going to be looking for Balk. So all I did was hit the advanced search button. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look by seller. And then we are going to type in only items by these guys. So we're going to type in Balk and see what pops up. You know, it's really um, no easy way to find specific sellers on Balk. Or, I'm sorry, uh, to find a specific seller on eBay. Advanced search is the only way uh, that I know how to do it. So we'll see if we can go ahead and pull them up, which I don't see any right. I'm back with the next portion of buying bulk merchandise from eBay so we can see how does it work to upload their manifest right from eBay into eBay, if that makes sense. We'll find out as we get into it here. Uh, as we tried in the other portion of the video, it did not work well. There was really no, no nothing popped up when you looked underneath bulk. Um, so we're gonna see if it works out this time under the advanced search listing. And we don't have to go to Google this time. So we're going to go ahead and hit the advanced button that you saw up in the corner. We're going to go ahead and hit sellers. And then we're going to include right here, balk. And this is going to be how you search by seller on eBay. So let's go ahead and hit search. And there it is. So 353 items available from balk on eBay. That's a lot of items that we can go ahead and choose from. So just uh, to show you guys, we're just going to go ahead and select this top item. And this top item here is a used carton, which it means what it says, unexpected returns. Items may have been bought and returned, but the condition is unknown, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and we get one picture. And this is just like in box site, one picture you're going to get for it. And the shipping's the same on box site, 30 bucks. And the price is 30 and you can buy it right now. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So you got a bulk promise. So here's the cool thing. Even on eBay, they are still giving a 90% accurate manifest. Pretty impressive. Uh, they do that on their website as well. Customer service has always been really good for me. And I don't get any special treatment. So if you guys are watching, this is not a video that Bok paid for, nor they're sponsoring or anything else. This is just me helping you guys out so you can determine if this is what you want to buy and if this is who you want to buy from. So if we scroll down here, we can see what is on this manifest. So you got an Opal House 10 by 6, three ceramic round bowl yellow, wonky wear for Opal House, etc., etc. And then here's all of your information how to do it. So it says, how do I relist inventory from bulk store? They partnered together to make it faster for sellers to source inventory and list on the stores. So after making the purchase from bulk, any registered eBay seller will have the option to generate a draft listings with pre-filled data from their bulk order in one of three ways. The seller hub under the listing tabs, my eBay selling overview and an order confirmation. So we're going to have to buy this to see how it works. So let's go ahead and look at some cases and see how this works and we will purchase a case. So let's go ahead and back up out of here. And I want to buy new merchandise. So we're going to go ahead over here into the condition. We're going to go ahead and select new. So now we're down to 179 listings. So let's go ahead and hit, let's do price and shipping highest first. So we can funnel out a little bit of the lower end stuff. 
So for one, I'm not spending $3,228. I ball, but I ball on a budget. We're gonna go ahead and keep scrolling down. This is a little bit more than what I wanna spend on a carton. Um, you know, in clothing, not a, not a big clothing guy here. And I'm sure there's really good merchandise in here if you guys want to take the chance on this stuff. Um, however, this is more than what I want to spend on a carton. Especially, you know, for me personally, we get semis a week here. Uh, so knowing, you know, that I get 26 pallets a week and sometimes a pallet may only cost me a couple hundred bucks. Um, you know, I don't want to mess around with a clothing carton. So we're going to skip this clothing. I don't know how to keep scrolling down. And let's get to some some hardline merchandise, not this soft line stuff. Let's see what we find here. A lot of clothing. More clothing. So here we have a home and garden. Uh, value is at thirty eight sixty fifty nine. So let's go ahead and type that in. Eight sixty point five nine. And our cost is two ninety one plus thirty shipping, and we got eight sixty point five nine. Oops. So that carton is thirty seven cents on the dollar to buy it. Um, that's kind of a lot for me, but let's check it out and see. Because again, we want to see how this works and what do we have in here. Uh, the Benko is some good stuff. I see the Benko, Benko and some other small meat thermometers. I'm not seeing anything in the carton that really surprises me that I need to snatch this up. So there's four of the Bentgo's, so they're 30 bucks a piece. Remember this is new merchandise, so that's gonna be 120 bucks bag. But also remember, if you're going to relist it on eBay, that you're going to have your fees, and you're gonna have your shipping, and your shipping costs, and everything else. Um, so keep that in mind when you see this because it's 30 bucks, but if you're going to sell it on eBay, you know, when it's all said and done, uh, you got 40% into it. So it costs you $12 and then you probably got another 40% in fees and shipping. So there's another $12. So you're making eight bucks on it, which is fine, but it doesn't leave you a lot of profit when you're going to make 32 bucks back out of those four items there. Right. And then you ended up paying three hundred and twenty one dollars for everything but there is a ring doorbell so i mean that's a hundred bucks um overall i mean there's some decent stuff on it that i'm seeing nothing super crazy and i'm gonna go ahead and keep looking and seeing what else we find so we have a new uh, clothing and accessories a lot of clothing and accessories health and beauty i don't want to mess with that health and beauty some shoes more shoes, more clothing, uh, business industrial, that's all school supplies. Don't have a use for that. And again, you know what, guys, if you're watching this and wondering, you know, well, I do really well with clothing. I do really well with school supplies. Good for you. I mean, seriously, I, I'm glad it works out well for you. You know, for what we do here at my warehouse, it, it's just really slow moving merchandise in my area. Uh, we live in a very, very small town. <clears throat> so some of this stuff is a little bit more difficult to get it to be moved. Um, here you have clothing and shoes accessories, but it is all goggles it looks like. So let's check this out. So on this one, our price is 183 plus 30. And then the value is 1438. So this is 14 cents on a dollar. Not bad. And right here is, is where you're going to see your value, $1,438. Scroll down a little bit. Let's go ahead and look at the manifest. And I see here, too, it tells you your cost per item, $1.59. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at this manifest. So remember, guys, your manifest is the guideline that you should use with caution because sometimes the dollar amount may be inaccurate. Uh, but from what I can see, you know, it's going to be pretty realistic on how much these goggles are going to run. Um, a lot, a lot of goggles. All right. So we'll go ahead and back out. We'll keep this one in mind for us. And again, guys, this was new merchandise. So we're going to go ahead and 
Let's go check out some guest return merchandise and see what that will end up looking like for us. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll back to the top. And then on the left side, we're going to go ahead and unhighlight the new. And then let's go ahead and select used. And I tell you what, I've had really good success with the used merchandise on here because normally it's just unexpected returns. So you typically get a mixture of new and used merchandise. So we can see here, we have some phones, cameras and that. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down because this again is more than what I wanna spend. Let's get, we'll start here, look here. So we have computer, tablets and networking. Let's check this out. So this here has a retail value of $1,109. And it is currently at 326 plus 30. Let's go ahead and look here. So we have some Heyday, Apple, iPod, iPad cases, uh, Switch the Game, Energizer, Sony Progressive Scan DVD player. Not a lot of big ticket merchandise, um, but definitely better than what the Speedos were. We got a Bose SoundLink micro Bluetooth speaker. some cabling, and some headsets. So, and again, this is customer returns or unexpected returns, so you don't know the condition or if it is all going to work for you. Let's go ahead and see what else we have. So, you know, it's gonna sound crazy. I'm really contemplating on these goggles. Um, you know, I'm the type, I, I'm always ahead on the seasons. So these goggles I would set on until spring and summer and i can do that we're in our warehouse we got plenty of space for it um you know and these goggles are 20 cents and a dollar so we have these goggles and i think there was another pack of goggles too um so let's double check here and see so goggles some speedo stuff so this isn't i don't believe this is the one that we saw on the first time around so let's go ahead and back back out i'm gonna scroll down a little bit more might have been these ones. Let me check. Or the one, oh, the one below. It's already highlighted. But let's double check this one too. And I think we'll snatch up a, a pack of goggles just so we can see how it works. So this has a lot of the Speedo Girls armbands, hot pink at $14.99. Um, you know, for me to ship, reship those, that's going to be a lot of stuff. Um, not a lot of money there. And then we got here, let's see, we have uh, 18, 25, 33, 1, 1, and 1 worth of goggles. So we have a total of 79 goggles on this shipment at $1.96 each. So let's go ahead and back out, and we'll check out the one last bottom. Here's our clothing one, and I believe this is the one we were looking at, at 183, and the value is 1438. So this is 14 cents on the dollar. So this so far is the best buy that we've seen and it should all be brand new. And this is $1.59 a piece. And then let's double check the goggles. There's 115 items on here. So if we count backwards on here, uh, we got some armbands, uh, swim caps, swim caps. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 items out of that 115 that's not gonna be goggles. So we got 105 goggles. Uh, so in my head, what I am thinking is we'll post these goggles obviously on eBay, and then also locally we'll be able to hang them up on our pegboards in the warehouse because my warehouse is open to the public. And they may be a slow seller right now for us, and you know some of this stuff would just we would just run half off. You know the speedo that's four twenty nine would be seven bucks or eight bucks, and then these speedos that are eight dollars would just be four bucks. Uh, so all in all, you know this pallet here would you know end up maybe bringing us in. You know if we take that fourteen thirty eight. Divide by two, you know, we're looking at $719. So if we take the $213 minus 
he goes boom, boom, boom. So potentially we could be looking at upwards of a $506 profit if I can get half the retail value back out of it, which I feel pretty good that we can do that here, um, especially with the traffic flow that we get in. Selling these goggles at half off. You know, a lot of people go to hotels. Uh, I even know some people that have indoor pools, which they never invite me over, unfortunately. And I thought I had more friends than that, but obviously not. But hey, you could be my friend. Hit that subscribe button, right? Uh, but we're going to go ahead and order this and we'll see what the whole process looks like on uploading the manifest onto eBay. So let's go ahead and buy this. So we're going to go ahead and add it to our cart. We're going to go ahead and check out. And our total is going to be $227.91. This is going to get charged to my credit card. And we'll go ahead and purchase this. And this merchandise should ship from Balk, obviously, not eBay. So we'll see how long it actually takes to get in. So this is a whole new process. So let's go ahead and confirm and pay. Man, it's a slow process, isn't it? There it is. So our order is in. It says it should be here Friday, November 27th, or by Friday, November 27th. Uh, we'll see how that works. Um, today is uh, November 20th. So we'll see how fast it actually gets here. Usually box pretty quick about shipping their cartons out and it find out. So that's what I have for you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this portion of the video. Keep watching. Uh, after this because we're going to be receiving that card and we'll see how it works on uploading the manifest right into eBay. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Tune in for the next video by turning on your notifications and share our videos with your friends, family, loved ones, strangers, exes, I don't care, whoever wants to come watch, right? And drop me some comments. Let me know what you think with the video. And hopefully it is helpful to you guys on listing your merchandise on eBay by buying Balk right from eBay. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Chuck Popovich here from Bricks to Clicks. And we are back with the next portion to figure out this Balk eBay partnership and what that looks like for saving you guys time and myself and getting this merchandise posted or listed. Uh, so... The carton has arrived pretty quick. Ordered it on Friday. Today is Tuesday. And I ordered it Friday afternoon. So it probably shipped out maybe Saturday or Monday. So it did get here quick. Uh, so a couple of things I do want to show you guys. You will get an email. Hopefully you can see that okay. And on this email it says generate drafts. Now this is the whole purpose of this partnership is you guys will be able to generate some drafts out there and get this merchandise uploaded way quicker. So you can do it right off your phone. And the idea behind it is you'll be able to upload it before you even get the merchandise. So if it's brand new merchandise, you shouldn't have any issues, right? Because it's gonna be brand new, you get it in, it's already listed, and you may have already sold some of that merchandise before it even came in. So uh, the thought behind it will save you a lot of time. Uh, so I've been messing around a little bit before I jump into this video with you guys so you can see it. I have my screen up on one of my accounts. This is my um, our Bricks to Clicks account here. And normally the balk thing would pop up across on a banner here. So there would be a banner on your listing page. And you hit generate drafts and it takes you to the next page which worked out pretty well the first time I did it. I backed out of it, and when I backed out of it, it no longer appeared for me, so now it's gone. So if I go to create listings, so go to your listings, create listing, as you can see here, and then come over to create listing, you will have listing from bulk inventory. That's what you wanna select. So if you select that, it tells me I haven't purchased any inventory because I've already tried to do the listing, but I didn't complete it entirely. I just backed out to make sure I was in the right area, so it disappeared. I was like, oh my God, what happened to it? It's gone now. Um, however, you need your, I don't know what's going on here. You need your order number. So let's try this again. Listing, key in your order number, and it should pull it up. There it is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit generate drafts. 
and see what this does for us. So we're going to hit the generate drafts. And this is the furthest that I went with it on my own. Um, I'll show you guys the only thing that I saw that was a downfall for this. Or I shouldn't say a downfall. It's probably not the right word. Um, my reservation on it, I will show you here in a second, as soon as this baby loads up. So this is awesome. So it shows you, boom, 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 everything that's running across there. Um, so we do have all 48 items from the manifest on here, which is great, very cool. So let's just jump into the first one and we're gonna hit resume draft. And we can see it already picks it up, format, fixed price, duration, good till canceled. We're gonna create it now. Um, so if we hit resume draft, this is going to bring us to our next thing. And this here, we can see we have our lot ID um, is a custom label. So it shows that what category it is, uh, boys shoes. So this is uh, the only downfall. I, I don't know if there's a way around it or not. We'll find out is it doesn't generate the pictures from the order, which would be freaking awesome if it did that. So if we jump over here, this is my order. So it would be neat if there's a way that the stock photos can come over to the eBay listing system. Otherwise, you have to go through all 48 items and save the photo manually. And to do that, you just right click save the image so we'll try one here so this is the same image uh there we go so we have that um so then if we jump back so that first one that's listing is 060 so when it pulls this manifest over to ebay it's also not an order so now you'd have to go back and forth to find that one so here's the 060 so we would have to go save the image and then I'm just going to put 060. It'll be a little bit easier for me to remember it that way. So we have that. So now we can go to add photo. Here's 060. So now we have our stock photo. Uh, so now we can continue on. So we have that. So you would do that 48 times. It'd be neat if the photos would auto upload with every single thing because you're going to go through and you have to find the photo each individual time um, for that. So the items with asterisks, you do have to put something in. Um, so we're gonna see if we can do uh, goggles for this option here. Let's see. So it looks like they, they think it's shoes. So let's go back up because it's not shoes. So the category is not shoes, it is goggles. So we're gonna go ahead and change this. So now we have goggles. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my November category. So the MPN is your manufacturer part number, uh, which obviously we don't have. And I don't even know if this would have one. Um, and then here it does give you a brief description. So here I would enter uh, any additional de uh, description that I want to add into that. And then my buy it now price. And I notice on here that you know these are the 060 is 1299 um so let's say that's what we want to do it at is 1299 um we scroll down and in the shipping it looked like they had a flat rate shipping on all that stuff inside there um so we would change this to you know either free shipping or whatever you guys decide to do and then you're also going to have to go through then and um, check anything else or change anything else on your shipping that you have. But if you have it set up in your preferences, there shouldn't really be much to change here. Um, you know, we don't offer any other additional things, so we should be good on that. And then it's a 10 cent fee because I'm over my listings for the month already. Uh, but overall, it is a very cool concept to save you time to where you can start getting your merchandise listed sooner. Uh, just a couple things that you'll need to change. Uh, clearly the category that it's in, because it wasn't shoes, it was goggles. 
also the stock photo you have to get a stock photo and then you can always go back and change that when your merchandise comes in so you do want to verify that that product is in the carton there is a 98 percent guarantee with balk so you do have that as an option to go back if you have any issues uh, but besides that it's definitely a cool way to get your merchandise on quicker and get your money back faster. I mean, you don't, you're not waiting around the four, five, six days, however long it may take for you guys to get your merchandise. I live closer to a facility, so I get my merchandise quicker. Um, and it is shipped directly from Balk. It is not coming from eBay or anything like that. So overall, I love the concept. Uh, maybe a, a couple little things to tighten up on it, but you know, I think they're definitely onto something here. And, Hopefully this helps other individuals out there that sees this video uh, to purchase some inventory from eBay. And I think it'd be really cool if you start seeing all the inventory from Balk end up on eBay or if eBay can take the order number from Balk and then take that inventory right over to eBay. So imagine if you could end up doing like a pallet and you have a thousand items on a pallet and it's boom, boom, and everything uploads for you would save you a, a lot of time. So very, very cool. Um, you know, I definitely think it's something new that I haven't seen other companies do yet. And drop me some comments if you guys know of another company that does something like this, uh, because I do think this is gonna be on the forefront of other companies to follow suit with it. Uh, but overall, very cool. Uh, hopefully this is beneficial for you guys. If you guys have a comment or a question, uh, let me know. Always willing to help out the best I can. But be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you get updates on next videos that are coming out. Share our videos with your friends, family, strangers, whoever you see fit, and drop me some comments. We really do enjoy reading the comments, but we will see you guys back soon. Thanks for watching.